channel. Um, today we are doing the disc brake swap, or starting it at least. Um, I've been busy ripping that fox apart back there, parting it out, so, uh, yeah, and then I buried this car in the parts since I have a one bay garage. Anyway, let's get into today's stuff. I've acquired um, the, pretty much the rest of the parts I need for the thing, for the disc brake swap. So we have the 93 Cobra master cylinder. Um, this, I got the one bolt that goes in the stock proportioning valve. I got the Maximum Motorsports um, brake hoses or lines that go from the master cylinder to the stock proportioning valve. And then I picked up the proportioning valve that needs to go on the passenger firewall side for the rear. Um, and then I picked up the Ford Performance parking brake cable that's adjuster and then I picked up a pack of 20 nuts to fit that um, and then as well as we had all the other parts we have dust shields here we have the brake hoses here the e-brakes here and then I have the calipers and everything else um, pretty much to do this we need to pull apart the rear so I've taken off this tire um, I'm now going to take off the rear sway bar then I'll take off the diff cover drain the diff then we can take off all our brake stuff, which is all brand new, unfortunately. Um, drain the rear end, pull the axles, and get to work. So, stay tuned. Time to get our fluid drained out, so we'll pull out the drain plug first. Now that we've got the diff cover off, most of the fluid drain, we're going to switch this out. And bring in another pan. And then we're going to clean this all up with brake cleaner, take this out push this out, push each axle in, and then take out the seat clips. All right, guys, we've got both axles pulled out. Unfortunately, they are 28 spines. Um, no big deal because somebody already went and put 373 gears on this in the past. So I was just, um, but I kind of knew that they were going to be 28 spines because they had stock uh, lug studs. They had stock studs in them. Anyways, so now... We're going to use um, some brake line wrenches, disconnect our brake lines from the rear, and then pull off this plate. And then after that, we will uh, measure up, uh, and I believe this, for our soft lines. And then drill and attach those. Alright guys, and once we've removed the disc brake, dust shield, cover, whatever you want to call it, or I'm sorry, the drum brake, dust shield, or cover, then we're going to install the brackets from North Racing. Um... R is for passenger, L is for driver. You want the ear to be set inwards towards the car and towards the back side of the car. Now I'm installing the dust shield, which is going to go on the inside of the bracket. I'm using three hardware or three little pieces of hardware to attach it. All right, so now that we have the dust shield on, the bracket on, we can now take our axle, slide our axle back in, and then we can take the bracket here believe it gets installed like that once we have a rotor on and then um the caliper as for now i don't have a line tool so i'll be waiting on that end but let's get her done all right guys we have the rotor on we have this bracket on i need pads and i don't have the pins for the calipers to sit on as well as i don't have a brake tool so i'm going to order one and i need the bolts for this but I'm going to make this a two-part video. So the first part is the rear end, which we've done. Um, if you want to piece your kit together, I will show all the part numbers of everything you need for the rear for now. And then in the front, I'll show everything you need for the front. And that'll be the second video. So for the rear, the calipers, Duralast 18-B4508. I believe they're both. And then 509. One for one side, one for the other. Um, and then the part numbers on the brake hoses are Dorman's H38506, and then the dust shield part numbers, well, I don't think there really is one, it's the Ford dust shield, and it's F4Z020028, and these are identical for both sides. I have the e-brake cables, um... And these part numbers are 
I don't know who makes these either. 78-95158. All right here. 87 to 92 Mustang rear. I have to check these um, to make sure these are disc brake cables. They look it because there's no spring in them. So I believe these are the correct ones. I'll finish up the, um, what the hell is this thing called? Park and brake on the second video and the under the hood with the proportioning valve, the brake parts and the new master cylinder. Um, other than that, I have to go order parts to finish this because I need those dowel pins. I need to find the hardware and I need a brake line flaring kit so I can flare those lines and cut them short. You could order the lines, hard to pre-cut to the length. Elmar has those. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. Pretty soon in the next couple of videos. Um, now that spring is ahead of us very shortly, even though we still have plenty of snow outside. But spring's coming. Uh, I am going to do a whole AC video on how to put AC into the cars. We're using the stock system and we're just going to convert it to R134 because they were R12. Um, I'm doing... I need to adjust the T-top windows, fix the, fix all this. Um, I'd like to do that for the season as well. I need to finish the tune on the micro squirt. And lastly, I ordered tints, so I'm going to retint all of these windows. Um... And yeah, so stay tuned for all that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe, like, comment, whatever you guys want to do. And um, yeah, let's get this car back on the road. Well, when the season comes, let's get it ready to go on the road. All right, guys, thanks for watching.